Hey guys, it's me again, Barry with Barry's A Track and Classic Car Radio Repair. And today we're demonstrating a Delco T400 out of a, um, let's get this customer's name off here so for privacy. Alrighty, uh, this is from Larry in, looks like Guilford, Connecticut, or Guilford, Connecticut. It's out of a, a 70 Olds Cutlass. And uh, we're just going to test her out before we send her back, make sure everything works. Pop in some uh, Neil Sedaka. Make sure we got output on both sides. Balance left. Balance right. Alrighty, don't need these anymore. Switch tracks. Make sure the tone control works. Yep. Okay, and that's it. There's not much to test on a on a on a standalone eight track player, so everything is working properly. She's ready to go back. And uh, one thing that I do on Oldsmobile units, I'll go ahead and turn this power off here. Disconnect this unit. Um, the the connector, there's got like two or three connectors. Uh, they can be kind of confusing on an Oldsmobile, so I do I label each wire. Uh, because see the 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 Delco eight track players, uh, most of them send. Uh, they send the speakers to the radio when there is no tape inserted via a switch that's inside the unit. Uh, so there's there's a lot more than just the speakers to worry about. You also have to make sure that it's that it's uh, processing the radio signal as well with the, when there's no tape insert. And I, I have verified that it does. So we're all cool here. And so uh, I'm out of here. Uh, I'm Barry with Barry's A Track and Classic Car Radio Repair. Uh, my phone number for paying repair or conversion customers only, not for parts or belts. I don't sell parts or anything like that. Uh, my number is 928-533-9666. My website's in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and listening, and we'll see you guys next time.